With volatility compressed to all-time lows, Bitcoin is poised for the biggest move of the year. And what's up, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's Bitcoin analysis video. I have Sean next to me today. Sean, say hello to everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. So, Sean, there's a lot of juice to cover, but let's first address the big question on everyone's minds. Do we see that big Bitcoin pullback? Now, yes, Mango has been looking for a pullback, right, specifically to that daily tenkin, which was initially hovering at around 28.1K. But the thing is that we had a massive update in the previous video, okay? So I'm going to take you guys on over to that previous video, a little snapshot of that. Now, we were waiting on the Tenkin. You see this blue line right here? That's the Tenkin. All right. It was sitting at $28,000 initially. We were looking for a pullback all the way down to 28K. But instead of price coming down to the Tenkin, instead, we saw the Tenkin, Sean, climb up mm. to price. Now, this is where Sean said that, hey, the Tenkin is at price. This right here is the bid opportunity. This is where we get bullish right and we only get bearish if if price breaks the tenkin that's when we can then look for the next pullback so sean if i understand this correctly if price was holding the tenkin if we were living above the tenkin that's when we can look for further upside correct yep exactly now for the longest time ever since bitcoin started making its move we've been patiently waiting for price to come into equilibrium with the tenkin but instead, what has happened now is that the Tenkin has come into equilibrium with price. So that's where we look for that further upside. If we lost the Tenkin, however, that's when we go back to looking for that move to 28K. Okay, so fairly simple. If it's above, it's bullish. If it's below, we can look for the pullback, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and check out where price is at relative to that Tenkin. Mm. It's, it's almost as though <laughs> the Tenkin has been urging price forward, right? Saying that, hey, you better go up, you better go up. Because if I shoot up above you, if you close underneath me, I'm going to be pushing you down. I'm excited, Sean. It's looking freaking bullish here. In fact, you actually said something very, very interesting in yesterday's private seed voice chat. Um, you said that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're feeling uncomfortable here. You take the trade anyways right this was the bid opportunity yeah exactly because yesterday um it wasn't looking all that good right it wasn't feeling all that comfortable mm. and in the voice chat i was like yeah you gotta take the trade anyways because you gotta follow your rules because hey at the end of the day if things don't go well you just get to blame your rules but if you don't follow your rules and then price pumps on you that's when you really really feel like shit, right here's the thing guys you are always going to feel uncomfortable at one spot or the other you're always going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel uncomfortable when buying at the breakout or you're going to feel uncomfortable when buying at support. I have chosen where I'd rather feel uncomfortable and that's at support, right? Because it's easier to be wrong when buying on trend support. And now because I paid for that discomfort at the time when it was right, I get to sit comfortably while we are positioned for a potential breakout. We are well in the green now while price is drifting towards Krisha's breakout level. Exactly, Sean. And we will be talking about that breakout trade shortly. And guys, it's going to be a big one. We're talking about a potential 2x trade to the upside. But before we jump into the breakout trade, there's something I wanted to mention. You see, we were initially looking for Bitcoin to pull back to 28.1k. But these trades, guys, they are dynamic. As price unfolds, as time unfolds, the entries and the exits move dynamically with price. So if you guys are new here, and you're not subbed, make sure you do so that way you don't miss out on any trade updates. All right, so with this now, we can jump right into price action. I'm gonna be giving you guys three bullish criteria as to why I think that this price action is gonna continue to the upside. For the first criteria, we're gonna go back on over to the Mango dashboard, which can be found on app.mangoresearch.co. You'll see that that's the first option, default page, okay? But now, guys, by the way, we now have a new feature, which is premium videos, where we will be giving you guys some premium trade setups. Yep, by the way, we've already posted a Ethereum trade opportunity in there, so make sure to check that out. It's a detailed, detailed video. Exactamundo. So now as far as Bitcoin is concerned on the Mango dashboard, let's go ahead and check out that drop down menu. So far, guys, check this out. From the four hour time frame to the weekly time frame, we have bullish long trend signals. 
And Sean, just look at the volatility. Do you have any insights on this? Mm, yeah, so blue volatility on the 4 hour, 12 hour daily. Blue essentially means volatility compression, guys. And volatility compression leads to volatility expansion. But the question is, volatility expansion in what direction, right? Because you could expand towards the bottom too. So what do you look for? Well, you look towards the trend for your bias. If the trend is long, you look for the volatility to expand towards the upside. If the trend is short, you look for that volatility to expand towards the downside. So at the moment, volatility is extremely compressed over here. It's crushed. So there will be a big move coming. In what direction? Look towards the trend. Trend is long, but there's more guys. We have two flags over here on the daily and the two day. Bullish Ichimoku flag gone off on the daily. Bullish Ichimoku flag gone off on the two day time frame. So even if you don't understand your Ichimoku theory, right? Over here, the dashboard's here to help you. It's telling you that these are the perfect Ichimoku setups on the daily and the two day time frame. So the probability at the moment, guys, is that this volatility expands to the upside. Exact mundo. So now this is bullish criteria number one. Now for bullish criteria number two, I wanna take you guys back on over to the daily chart. Now we're currently on Mango View, okay? That's gonna be the second option on your dashboard menu right here. So now I want you guys to go ahead and turn on your Ichimoku regions once again. We have the Tenkin, we have the Kijun. This looks absolutely beautiful as we had discussed previously. Price is currently living over the Tenkin. But there was one more region that we were looking for Bitcoin to really uh, reclaim. And what was that region, guys? What was that region? That mm -hmm. was the 10 simple moving average. In fact, ever since we lost the 10 simple moving average, that's when we were actually looking for further downside on Bitcoin, which we got. Okay, but now where is price relative to the 10 SMA? We are currently we living over. It. We closed a candle over the 10 SMA. This is a big deal, guys. It's beautiful how the story has all come together. Yes. Right? This, this is what trading looks like, guys, right? You tailor your bias according to your indicators to keep yourself objective. We said that, hey, underneath the 10 SMA, we look for further downside all the way down to the 10kin. But what do you know? The Tenkin shoots up, presses price back up to the 10 SMA, and now the Tenkin and the 10 SMA are in confluence, and price is using both of them as support. Beautiful. Exactly, okay? So this region right now comes in at around 30.4K Tenkin and 10 SMA so, in confluence. So we can use that now as our invalidation, as our bias, right? If price begins to close underneath the 10 SMA and Tenkin, you know immediately that, hey, you know what? Um, this does not want to see continuation. Exactly, Sean. And why I really, really like this picture is that it sits so well with the overarching view, which now takes us to bullish criteria number three. Now, the third bullish criteria is hinged on the monthly relative to the 21 EMA. As you can see here, we reclaim the monthly 21 EMA and have done so with a bullish engulfing candle. Guys, the 21 EMA has been the guide for the bull and bear cycles, right? When we're underneath the 21 EMA, that is bear market territory. When we're over the 21 EMA, that is bull market territory. So this picture is looking extremely bullish, screaming for continuation, right? We have an alignment of the stars, the daily aligning with the monthly, aligning with the dashboard, which is now a great segue into the mango trade of the day, which is our breakout trade opportunity. Now, our breakout trade opportunity is going to be hinged primarily on the weekly time frame. And guys, the, this is going to be a massive, massive move to the upside. We're looking at the first target coming in at around 42K and the second target coming in at around $62,000. From where prices at right now to 42K, that's still a good 37% to the upside. But to 62K, well, what is that? That's going to be a good 100% to the upside. That's a 2X. Now, this is where things get exciting. So let's jump right into the trade setup. How do we capture this? Now, this breakout trade setup is hinged primarily on the weekly time frame with price against that Ichimoku cloud. OK, as you can see here, we're currently up against the Ichimoku cloud, which comes in at around 31.3K. So our bullish breakout trade triggers as soon as we close one weekly candle into the Ichimoku cloud right there. Okay, as soon as we do that, that's when that 
beautiful bullish trade triggers to the upside. First target coming in at around $42,000 and second target coming in at around $62,000. Now guys, this is a weekly trade, okay? We're waiting for seven days for each candle. But in tomorrow's video, I will be talking about the lower time frame breakout levels. That way we do not miss the move just in case Bitcoin decides to run away from us before the weekly closes. Alrighty, so if you want to catch that, make sure to hit the sub and the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on tomorrow's trade setup. But now back on over to the trade for target one. Yeah, we're looking at $42,000, an edge to edge on the cloud from one edge all the way up to the other edge. I think that's pretty foreseeable, right? But now for those of you wondering, Krisha, okay, 42K sounds plausible. 62K though? How the hell are you getting 62K for Bitcoin? And my answer to that is this right here. Breaking into the Ichimoku cloud is us also breaking out of this massive cup and handle like formation. But in addition to that, guys, the confluence is sublime. Okay, we're getting into the cloud, we're breaking out of the cup and handle formation, but in addition to that, we're also breaking a historical level here on Bitcoin, once again, coming in at around 31.3K. As soon as we broke above it in December of 2020, we made our way all the way up to $60,000, got rejected, came back down, found support where? 31.3K, bounced off of it once again, made our way all the way up to $68,000, came back down, and this is where we broke 31.3K, and that basically initiated the downward trend to $15,000 per Bitcoin. Guys, taking out the cloud is us reclaiming that historic 31.3K level. The measured move, however, to this beautiful cup and handle like formation takes Bitcoin all the way up to 60 to to $64,000. All right, that is where that target is coming in from. Brilliant, brilliant, Kusha. Things are looking really, really exciting. I think we're about to see a climactic moment on Bitcoin. Exactly. Now, there you have it, guys. You have today's breakout trade setup to watch out for. And from the previous video, you have Sean's Tenkin continuation trade opportunity. Now, in tomorrow's video, we will be talking about the lower time frame triggers. OK, so you do not want to miss that. Hit the subscribe for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and we will see you in the next update. With this, trade safely, trade stress free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys. Ciao.